topic for today's episode of Engineering Career TV is how to differentiate yourself as an engineer during the job search process. This was actually a very short question I got from Malapati, and I almost discarded it because it seemed general in nature. But then the more I thought about it, the more I realized how important it is. And the question is, I need help on how to successfully apply for jobs so that I actually get some callbacks. I've been applying to a lot, but I'm not getting any calls. I specifically want help on how I can make sure that my resume reaches the hiring manager without going into a black hole. Thank you. Great question, Malapati, and it's a really, really important one, actually. In today's state of the industry, HR people are getting hundreds, if not thousands, of applications for engineering jobs because a lot of people are looking for work and looking for interesting jobs. How can you differentiate yourself and your application? The answer is you need to stand out by doing something that makes you stand out. Now, this could be a number of things. It could be the subject line on the email that you send to an HR person. Like the subject, as opposed to saying job application, you could write something like how I can help your engineering company win more projects and talk about how you're good at business development in the cover email. It could be creating an audio file or a video file that goes with your application. I just did this myself applying to speak at a conference. It's a very popular conference that gets a lot of speaking applications and I know that my chances are going to be tough to get in. So I took the time to set up my video equipment, I did a script, and I did a couple of videos with my application and I haven't heard back yet but I did receive some early positive indications from the person that runs the conference. This is probably because not a lot of people took the time to do a video application. The point is you have to stand out. Maybe you spend $10 on a LinkedIn email message that allows you to send the message directly to the HR person as opposed to going through their website because oftentimes these job application websites do put your resume into a black hole. So consider these different ways that you can stand out. Like I said, an audio visual presentation, an interesting email subject line, going through social media as opposed to posting on their job site. Do something different, Malapati. That's what's going to get you callbacks. You may be the best engineer in the world, but if you submit through the standard job application process, you might get lumped in with every other engineer. It might just be the luck of the draw, quite frankly, on who they call back. Always strive to differentiate yourself as an engineer every day. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you, and I want you to take advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at the engineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to this show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.